there's one son. That's, that's <laughs> great, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you, Deadly, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Oh, there you go. This is Eat Sleep Box and Repeat. I'm delighted to be joined by the new European <laughs> Super Featherweight Champion, Eric. How does that sound? Ah, amazing. Dream come true, honestly. Like, you know, um, and I really mean that. Like, I used to fantasize and dream about, you know, becoming a European champion, winning that continental belt, like, you know, and uh, you often, as much as you dream, you still wonder if it ever would become a reality, you know, but it happened tonight, it came true tonight in the most dramatic fashion. Um, and another kind of, uh, what would you say, a desire from fighters as well is to be involved in classic fights, you know, fights that will be remembered for a very long time. Fights that have different chapters that go different ways. And um, you always want to be involved in them, you know, because they look great, you know, when you look back at the classic fights. But when you're in them, it's a complete different story, you know. Um, you have to learn about yourself. You have to go to the soles of your boots. But, man, it was just something. It was incredible. Um, and I did. I learned a lot about myself in that fight. And I learned that we as human beings are much, much stronger than we could even imagine. Um, we just have to sometimes keep punching keep going do not stop that reluctance to quit that reluctance to give up and uh i'm just so proud of myself tonight really am you mentioned there obviously you were saying you're having a joke about you're being in the fight we're all loving it at ringside but you're the one taking the punches in there or do you know during the fight like you can hear the atmosphere do you know that you're putting like you're serving up an absolute cracker oh, for yeah. all the fans you can can you tell i can tell like i just know that it's such a dramatic um occasion a spectacular kind of uh fight you know because he's landing shots and the crowd are going whoa and then i'm coming back and the crowd are going whoa and then the energy is just like it's just it was it was swaying from side to side you know and that's why every round is a different chapter and Packy kept feeding me the great information he goes eric you're, you're well in this fight you know you've just stolen it around from him he's getting tired he, he you've broke his heart because he hit me with some big shots and it looked like at some stage they had me out but uh, i just kept coming back and i could see his face going what the hell is going on here you know but i just you know there's something inside me like it just that it's that warrior spirit that fighter spirit like cause i've been through a lot of adversity in my life you know i've been I've, I've been through hell really you know with addiction and mental health and emotion i've really really struggled through a lot of adversity in my life and i brought all of that learning all of that learning into this fight i lost some big fights as well against Selfa barrett or obesity ramirez they made me a stronger man. And I brought all of those experiences into this fight. And I just said, no, not again. Look at ringside, my wife is there. She's due in two weeks time. My two kids are there, Jack and Troy. And I just knew after round 10, I looked across and I saw them in the front row and I said, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm coming into the driving seat now. There's no way, two more rounds. He's not gonna, he's, he's not beating me now, no way. And then um, I just kind of sailed home. As soon as the final bell well went in the 12th round, um, obviously you have a gut instinct, but you, you, at the same time you've been the one fighting. You you don't know how it's gone. Do you did you feel like as soon as the fight ended you'd done enough? Did you feel like you knew you had done enough? Honestly, I didn't. I I, I genuinely didn't. I just knew that it was close, and I knew that I was super proud to go twelve rounds. I've never done twelve rounds in my life. Thirty I'm thirty seven years of age doing twelve rounds in an absolute cracker. You know, a classic. And I just knew that if I can, if I can, if I can come to the end or if I can get to the end of this fight, I give myself a great chance. I knew he landed some big, big blows, but the like, and you could say they were quality blows. But I, the quantity, I think, and the speed and the hand speed from me was a lot more in the fight. Making a miss, bam, 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 landing some really good shots, making a miss as well because he was getting frustrated with me, you know. Um, later on in the fight and moving away from him, that. That was something that Paggy had to keep drilling in. Be disciplined, Larry. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Be disciplined. Way from, way from. Keep moving off. I think that really annoyed him, you know, because he wanted me to have a scrap with him. I think it was round nine or ten. We actually did go to the club for a while and the crowd loved it. I gave him a few and he gave me a few. And it was just kind of like we, we dished up a, a, a quality exhibition for the fans. And it's just incredible to be involved in something like that, you know, because I just think... People will always look back on that and the fact that it's on terrestrial TV means it will you know, live long in the memory of, of many people and I'm very proud.
Finally, Eric. Um, obviously, the fight's only been finished a few hours, and I'm sure the last thing you want to think about now is having another fight. <laughs> but um, what what is next for you? I, I assume you'll have a bit of a break. Um, yeah. But you know, in an ideal in an ideal world, what's next for Eric Donovan? Yeah. Well, I have some. I have some uh, talks, motivational talks, inspirational talks that I do uh, around the area of health and well-being and